thank you all for joining us for the it another uh, user event which is the august user group event powered by stmd community is it all getting sub possible with your extensive support your response with the content and all the activities today's uh, agenda for this is uh, already an open session like we will be going to walk you through about what are the basically new feature or the improvement comes up basically on the august update so which is also in tune service release 2308 so i am jitesh i'm uh, part of the stmd community so i will walk you through the all the latest update so coming to the quick update related to the august update so we have categorized the update in the various uh, sectors like the application management device security reporting and what are the monitoring benefits uh, microsoft is currently offering you in terms of the latest update so when i will talk about the application update you can able to see like there are uh, various update which was got introduced uh, with this uh, release so this is the like most highlighted update uh, was for the supporting or the feature which allowing you to turn off the store app setting so turning off the store app setting you can allow the manage application and disable the end user access to the store app so this is the newly add on with the august update and the another interesting is like with the win32 app capability now you can able to specify the installation time so this is kind of like the estimated installation time you can able to configure based on that uh, the app will be going to uh, proceed uh, the installation so in case the app is taking more than the, uh, that time the application will be fail to install uh, with the timeout error or something so maybe we will walk you through all those steps or the details in the demo session and uh, it another like introduction which was related to the macos so macos is now porting the web clip app type so you so basically the whenever you will deploy this capability so end user can pin the web access on the dock on the macos devices and the another part is mostly related to the conditional lunch check uh, so basically the additional detection for the device health uh, now will be allowing you to have some more capability in terms of the application protection and the hardware level to speak to the temper detection and the device attestation so these are the overall major or the minor update in terms of the application management so moving ahead to the device configuration so you can see like the most awaited feature which was the remote help so it was got introduced with this uh, latest release so this feature is basically help you to support the frontline worker using the enterprise dedicated devices from the anywhere so with this uh, feature you have you will get for the management and all the capability so in the screen you can see this screen is basically uh, from the microsoft end and you can see as soon as you will going to initiate the remote help so you will have the various option to perform the action like you can able to unattend control the device various uh, part of the device management you can able to manage in terms of the screen share this is basically for now supported for the samsung devices running with the android os version 8 the uh, jevra devices the another point is a uh, group policy analytics which were uh, you might be all aware group policy analytics was previously introduced in the public preview you might already have explored this feature so basically this is much more helpful which uh, if you are planning to migrate your like on-prem gpu to the into set uh, setting catalog so it will provide you much more insight and although like uh, settings uh, inside that uh, your on-prem to the clouds and the migration so this settings is now as in the i mean the move out from the public preview to the general availability and the another is like few more add-ons was introduced which was more uh, related to the sso device restriction temper uh, protection setting so these are the mostly specific for the enhancing the capabilities in terms of the apple devices which was the mac os or the ios devices so sso was like previously already introduced that was uh, just for the allowing user to uh, sign in smoothly on the app on the website with a single credential over the browser so this capability is just kind of providing you much more add-ons and uh, all those features uh, coming to the next uh, improvement or the addition which was categorized on the device security in tune apps and the monitoring and the troubleshoot part so in terms of the device security you have like more capability
ability to manage the defender for the update so you can able to specify the policy that will allow you to how you want to manage the this kind of like date on the whether the monthly cascade or all the details so that will be maybe we will going to uh, walk you through in the demo session one more addition was added which was specific for the endpoint a uh, privilege management so now you have the capability to check the report view all the uh, minus or the and minus elevation which was like aggregated by the application that was uh, i mean uh, that is uh, getting evaluated uh, by the end user with this introduction to this uh, report you can have much more like flexibility to check what are the settings are like action is being performed the it another like addition which was more specific to the antivirus policy as you know like how much the security is big concern for all of us and by continuing towards the security enhancement uh, there are like additional settings and uh, several uh, new feature is added to the antivirus policies and this is uh, more specific to the protected app so this app is basically the verity rms app which was uh, specific to the ios is it now available so you can able to configure this application with the intune and able to protect this app next part is uh, related to the reporting enhancement or the several ui enhancement is done with this uh, release so with the device timelines or the endpoint analytics you can have able to see like more advanced capabilities whenever you will uh, go to search for the specific devices you can able to filter out all the device details event details and uh, some more categories and uh, the last uh, part is the compliance report and the policies there was also like several improvement is uh, being placed uh, in terms of uh, just for enhancing the end user report part and the compliance structure of this so that maybe we will going to check it out in the next it's time to provide you a quick insight from the portal so what are the newly enhanced uh, feature is uh, added so let's uh, check it out so i hope my screen is visible just uh, before moving ahead i just want to provide a quick insight how you can able to check the service release or update if you are new to the intune you wanted to know how we can able to validate in your tenant so for that you need to browse to the endpoint microsoft.com but it is a older url which i used to browse now but it is currently migrated to the intune.microsoft.com so you can leverage that url for browsing it and with that you can navigate to the tenant administration so you can able to find out there is a tab called service release so inside the service release you can able to find out your like which version you are currently so in case you can see it is 2308 which is for the 2023 year and the 08 is denoted as a uh, for the month of august we are fully updated with this uh, newly service release so the next part is let me quickly show you the enhancement which was done specific to the win32 app installation so for that i am navigating to the application inside the application you can either choose to the all apps and you can able to filter out the specific win32 application but uh, with the by platform it will be uh, quick and easy to filter out the, the application specific to the windows platform so for example i am just uh, trying to select uh, any of the application from the list for example i am just uh, looking for the 7g application which is type as a win32 and clicking on the properties you can able to find the various tab over it and uh, you can go to the program if in case you are planning to change or modify your time installation for the existing application so here you can see this is the newly added like installation time required which is by default allowing you to run for the 60 minute and uh, it can be increased to the to one days which is the 1440 minutes so based on that your uh, convenience or the like required time you can able to modify it with this uh, uh, properties if you want to plan for the importing the application you can also able to add during the creation of application so you don't need to worry about it and the next part is defender for defender update control so you have now the full flexibility of controlling the defender uh, how we can able to control with uh, in terms of the policies and although so for that you need to navigate to the endpoint security tab and under the antivirus you can able to uh, see all of your existing policies and you can able to create the new policies so here i'm selecting the platform 
for example, Windows 10, Windows 11 server, and you can see here, this is the new tech view to control. So once I will select this, let me put the name test. So these are the basic settings like the engine update control. So this will uh, allow you to specify when the device received the Defender engine update during the monthly uh, gradual rollout. And this is basically for the platform update uh, channel. So you can able to select or, or specify from the drop down list like which platform update channel you wanted to opt either it is the beta channel current channel or the critical so is it by default configured to i mean set to the not configured so you can able to control with a set of policies the another part is for the security intelligence update channel so this policy is uh, help you to specify when the device received the security update during the uh, daily uh, rollout. So with this, you can able to also control uh, you wanted to, I mean, apply in which uh, release cycle. So the next part is quickly move to the report part and uh, provide you insights what's new. So in the endpoint analytics, you can, uh, if you have the Intune add-on license, so basically this is the feature is which got introduced with this uh, release. Uh, if you have the add-on li uh, license, you can able to bring some mode, I mean, uh, animation towards your device timeline in the endpoint analytics. So which was got uh, improved and uh, you can able to sort it out all the details, which is most capability where in terms of the devices, but uh, we don't have the activated license i believe so that is what it is uh, the feature is not currently visible for us so maybe we can uh, provide you some more insight on that part on the later phases and the next addition is uh, in terms of the endpoint uh, reporting part so let me quickly navigate to you that section with the endpoint privilege management you can able to check the new report which is with the endpoint elevation report by the application for that you need to navigate to the endpoint security and you need to tap over endpoint privilege management so under the policies you can see uh, if you are already created the policy you will able to see all the policies which was already available but this feature will require you the additional license so you can see the banner image over it like the endpoint privilege management is now general available so to try or just uh, add you need some add-on clicking on the report you can able to see the newly added enhanced report over it so that will allow you to full control or check the although uh, elevation request which is coming from the various uh, applications so this is the newly added feature several new announcement which was done which was more specific to the configuration profile so let me quickly navigate to the devices under the configuration profile you can able to check the newly added uh, settings or the uh, catalog which was uh, added with this release so i'm just creating a new profile and uh, selecting over it uh, for example, I will show you the Mac OS firstly and let me go for the setting catalog over it and uh, just I am typing the name for example the test Mac OS and uh, clicking on the add setting you can see like although like uh, category will get opened whatever it is uh, offering for the Mac OS and you can simply navigate to the authentication part and, uh, under the authentication in the SSO you can able to see the newly added all those settings which was uh, just for the enhancement for the single sign-in behavior so with this capability you can have some more granular control over the your Mac OS devices. The another part is mostly enhanced related to the security. So security in terms of the when you will click on the security, there is a passcode tab over it. And then in the passcode tab, you can able to find out the newly added feature, which was for the password context description and the password context rejects. So this is the newly added introduction in terms of the policy and all. When when I will talk, talk about specific to that uh, Mac OS policies and the another part is let me quickly show you the store application policies which was added recently let for that we need to choose the platform either windows 10 and later move to the setting catalog for selecting the windows policy and uh, clicking on the add setting you can able to filter out the settings uh, based on the search so let me quickly check for the store so you can see the turn off the windows store application so this is allow you to settings to 
disable the end user access to the store application so with this capability you can now uh, disable the ability so that end user will not able to access and uh, however new store type the deployment from the tune to the company portal will not get affected so this setting will only prevent from the devices to provide you i mean the flexibility or the user so they don't go out to the store windows native store and uh, browse through the application i mean the settings you may leverage in your like environment and the several new changes which is was specific to the reporting the compliance report so let me quickly move to the report and uh, show you over it the device compliance clicking on the device compliance you can see there is two tab over it one is summary and the report uh, so it is showing empty as we haven't uh, recently generated the report and uh, you can see these are the basically category were introduced in the last release but the capabilities in terms of the report enhancement were done like you will get some more control or the search capabilities when you will check for the report for example i am clicking on the device compliance status you can able to filter out the platform you can able to select all those things the device types this is basically the although microsoft manners desktop and this is the owner side so you can uh, quickly able to generate the report and able to uh, filter out with the properties and all those so this is just kind of like why changes or rather than uh, changing in, in terms of the functionality and all those this will be going to take some time to generate as soon as uh, the report will can generate uh, you can able to see all the insights uh, related to the device compliance and able to quickly figure out out you can see over a device it is showing the compliant and although but uh, the enhancement was done specific to that i mean this uh, search capabilities like you can able to search more frequently whatever you needed in terms of the your requirement these are the like added feature and uh, enhancement so i am done with it so maybe if you have any question or anything maybe we can cover up and i know some of the features which was not get possible to cover up in the session but uh, definitely we will uh, have some step by step guide or uh, walk it through with our like uh, youtube videos in the upcoming days